Okay, we are out here at uh, Bass Pro Shops. Uh, I bought these lures on uh, at uh, Dollarama here in Calgary, or just outside of Calgary and Airdrie. And you can see here I've got this Zinger Springer Bait. Bringer, yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I have this Zinger Spinner Bait by Guggen Squad. Got that for five bucks. And then these are from uh, Mako Lures. So these are just basic silver spoons, a little bit of tinge of red. And then this guy is a uh, three treble uh, Rapella sort of a knockoff. Got that for $1.75, which is extremely uh, good. So we're gonna go into um, Bass Pro Shops here and we're gonna see is Dollarama really that much of a deal? Can I find something similar and uh, make that a little bit of a challenge? So we will let you know what we find. I could go to Cabela's, which is the same owner basically. They have a slightly better deals on a few things, usually on sale, but generally the price is on the cheap stuff. It's pretty consistent. So we're gonna check in here. Uh, this is at uh, Cross Iron Mills Mall, uh, just outside of Balzac. So let's see what we can find. We'll start with the spoons. As you can see they're like a single spoon. You're looking at maybe best price, a little less than five dollars in some cases. We'll see there would be a good deal. This is the Bass Pro brands, four fifty each. Totally unrelated to the challenge, but I'm seriously considering getting one of these jet divers for our trip to Northern Saskatchewan. It'll allow me to put basically normal lures and get down to, you know, 30, between 10 and 30 feet. Oh, up to 40 feet, I guess. So I'll probably pick one of these up as well at some point. Well, the least expensive lures I can find for, for spoons is about $4. So you never know, I might find something on sale, but. That seems to be the lowest price for one. This is probably as close as I could find, and it was four dollars. So we're just going to say four. So basically, eight dollars for two. Now, as for that spinner bait, it's a pretty close approximations for. I got a range of about six fifty each, all the way down to six dollars. I think that's the cheapest. They even have these with minimal packaging. Not seeing those for less than about eight dollars. All right, this is pretty close. So, I found one for six fifty. So, we're gonna call that as the best deal I could find. They always have these uh, tournament specials for four dollars, and honestly, that's pretty much a perfect match. And I've caught a bunch of fish on these guys. Uh, I have a red one. They've got the little crankbaits there as well. So, all right, we're gonna call it at $4 for that one. So, pretty close.
pretty good deal. And never had an issue with these, never had them, you know, breaking off or anything like that. So pretty impressed with these. Well, I think that about does it. So we'll uh, we'll check online. We'll try Amazon as well. But uh, I picked up a couple things while I was here, and uh, I think we have a good price comparison. We'll see how it how the math works out at the end of the video. Uh, welcome everyone. Uh, back to my home computer now. So I did take the effort to go through Amazon, and I found some interesting things. So let's start with that spinner bait. So if I go here and I look at the spinner baits. Um, Individually, you're not going to find a deal that's going to beat Dollarama, but here we have, so we've got like, uh, it looks like six of these guys for $17. So here you're looking at about $2.83 each for those spinner baits. So that is actually, if you're willing to buy bulk, if you're willing to buy six of these and, you know, different colors, you don't have to get all the same ones, but you can definitely get a good deal off of Amazon. Uh, and I'm sure the quality is probably the same as what you're getting uh, from Dollarama anyway. So um, individually, not as good of a deal, but if you don't mind buying a few and splitting them or, you know, um, if you go through a fair bit, it's not a bad deal. Now let's also look at, all right, so I think the next one I want to look at is the spoons. So same sort of a deal here. If you look at the spoons, uh, individually it's hard to find one that you're going to beat for whatever I paid for the other ones, like three bucks or whatever. Um, I think it was three dollars for two. But here you can see you can get five of these guys, decent sized spoons. Quality looks to be roughly similar to what you're getting. You get a variety of colors once again, and you're looking at $13.50. Look at $2.70 per spoon. Um, so not as good as Dollarama for sure, but you get some variety and there's there's some value in that. And then lastly, um, you can go in here and look at a couple of these. So if you go individually, you know, $12, this is a Rapella. This is obviously gonna be a better quality than what you're gonna get um, either in bulk from Amazon or from Dollarama. Um, but you know, $12, $11.66, you know, it's pretty much what you're going to pay if you get them individually. But if you get here, you can get a, a pack of these guys. So it looks like, again, you get, uh, is it five of them? Yeah, you get five pieces and it's for nineteen ninety. So essentially you're looking at $4 each. Um, once again, you're not going to beat the dollar twenty-five. I think I got that one for dollar seventy-five. whatever. I'll go back and <laughs> compare them. But, uh, you know, overall... You know, you are getting some different colors. You're getting a little bit more of a variety. Uh, I think these guys are, yeah, these are 100% lipless. The other ones have a small lip on them, but essentially you're looking at an equivalency. All right, so here's your summary. So essentially at Dollarama, you can get everything in individuals except for the spoons. So spinner baits was, was $5 plus tax, of course. Uh, spoons were three for two dollars, or uh, sorry, two for three dollars. So that's about a dollar fifty each, or that's exactly a dollar fifty each. And then of course jerk baits a dollar seventy-five, and that's pretty much as low as I've seen that at Dollarama. I don't know if that was a one-off or whatever, but anyway. So total for one of each, you're looking at eight dollars and twenty-five cents plus tax. Uh, Bass Pro now obviously you know bigger chain, um, probably arguably a little bit better quality. Um, so spinner baits they were five forty each. Uh, after the military discount, so I wanted to factor that in to be fair. And then spoons were 360 each, so um, you know definitely not as uh, as competitive as Dollarama on that front for a basic spoon. And then of course jerk baits, uh, three dollars and sixty cents. Now I can attest to the quality of all of these lures; they're actually really good. So um, uh, yeah, it's uh, it, you definitely pay a little bit more for what you get uh, sometimes. Now in Amazon, if you wanted to go in and you wanted to get a six pack of the spinner baits, they're 283 each, which is an incredible deal. You get you know multiple variety of colors, uh, but it's a bigger investment. If you want to get an individual, you're going to pay way more than that. So you're looking at you know a pretty nice discount for getting six, so 283 each, and then spoons 1350 for five, so 270. So better than Bass Pro, but still not as good as those spoons at uh, Dollarama. Um, but you do get the variety, maybe a little bit uh, better quality, hard to say, based on the ad. And then jerk baits, you've got uh, $1.75, very hard to beat for Dollarama. And over here on Amazon, you're at $3.98, and that's even with the five pack. So your final totals, if you went in to just to buy those three, if you could get three individuals, um, you know, your price 
for those three would be 825. Bass Pro, including the discount, you're looking at 1260. Um, you know, plus they hit you up for the <laughs> outdoor fund or whatever it's called. Uh, and then Amazon, you're paying 951. Uh, but you have to buy in bulk. You, you couldn't buy these individually. You had to buy, you know, six, five, and five to be able to get that deal. So is Dollarama a good deal? I think ultimately, yes. Uh, my experience is, you know, you go in there, if you see it on the on the shelf, a lot of the stuff that they sell is, is really good. They sell like $5 fishing reels. I would not use that for anything other than maybe a kid's reel or or maybe for ice fishing, maybe. But, uh, you know, aside from that, they've got name brand stuff. They've got Rapella, uh, Shimano I've seen up there. Um, their line seems to be roughly equivalent. Uh, they sell braided line. I bought 25 pound braided line for my standard reel and that's not so bad. So, um, bottom line is, do you get what you pay for? Absolutely. Is Dollarama still a good deal? Yes. Ultimately it's a good deal. You can buy them in singles and unless you're just getting a bunch of spinner baits, um, you're going to pay less at Dollarama. Thank <laughs> you.